wasn't until November 2017, five months after moving to Atlanta, when God opened my eyes to the most beautiful soul that he had been preparing just for me, you. I always wondered what my husband would look like, and I must say you are not the man of my dreams. <laughs> Because I could have never, ever, ever dreamt of someone as special and as wonderful as you. Never had words to receive. Never had a flame to win. And I never sang a song with all my mind. Fortunate to have you, girl. I'm so glad you're in my world. On this day, you know. I love you, and I vow to be fiercely loyal, attentive to your needs, the ones you know of now and the ones you haven't even thought of. I vow to be your friend, I vow to be quiet, power in silence, I vow to be good with our money, because I'm about it. your contagious energy and joy that you give even in your bad days. Your work ethic and the way you plan for our future is admirable. You are kind, silly, and my favorite, an amazing cook. So Daniel, I vow to continue to evolve and grow as an individual so that we can evolve and grow as a couple. I vow to honor you, respect you, support, and encourage you. I promise to dream with you, celebrate with you, and walk beside you through whatever life brings. I promised to be what I was raised to be. I was I was named Daniel, and in the Bible, Daniel has always been dared to do more, to be more, and I embrace that wholeheartedly. Um, not just for you, but for the people that we love that are not even here yet. So I love you, and I vow to be Daniel today and forever. Pray that we lean on God to intervene so that we can be the imperfect couple who learns to understand each other's differences. I know that God is the only one that knows the amount of days we have left on this earth, but I vow that each day that I have left on this earth will be spent loving you. Despite how clumsy I am, falling for you wasn't falling at all. It was walking into a house and knowing I was home. I love you and I cannot wait to call you my husband. We celebrate you, King and Queen, and now it is time 
you can salute your husband and wife. Yes, <laughs> you may kiss the bride. People thinking about the wonderful heart that this man has and what he has to offer the world into someone else manifested him meeting Janelle. And then Janelle having the presence of mind and spirit to know that this is the one after date number one. That is nothing but God's grace. And I hope and pray that that follows you for the rest of your life and your marriage. So satisfying to me, I must confess. Trust that all you instilled in her will carry her through, and we will continue to pray that God gives her the wisdom, the strength to be a wonderful husband. I love you both. If you ever need anything, I'm here for you. I'm so happy for you. When I think of Janelle, the very first thing that comes to mind is her giggle and her giant warming smile. It, it's almost like she's always greeting with both before anything is said, whether she knows you or not. Now that could change depending on what you say to her, Astro. <laughs> but the initial interaction will always be her warming and inviting. So I said all that to say that I think they're meant for each other, just like Akian Salfish and Anbu Beef on Bread. Today you receive a new title, and eventually you'll earn that title. Uh, you'll earn more titles as you go, parents, or even in your career. But always remember, you were born as Je uh, Janelle and Daniel. This means to always take care of you as well. Thank you to Janelle's parents for giving me a sister for life. And thank you to Janelle for introducing me to my new brother. I love you and I wish you all well. <laughs>